going to look at hashing our passwords using bcrypt and you should know that you can never store uh, plain text passwords and you should always uh, hash them using an algorithm and to do this we're going to be working on a completely new project um, separate from the helmet one so what you want to do is just open the github link and then just co copy the code the clone link right there and you just want to click new project here import from github and just paste it into there and that will start um, encrypt uh, that will start downloading the project for us and the tool that we're going to be using our hash to do our hashing is an npm package called bcrypt so once we've installed bcrypt what we can do is we have a bunch of functions where we can give a plain text input and it will create a hash for us and um, what you do is you let's say how you have this input right here and then you have this a variable called salt rounds and that's basically how many times you're gonna apply the algorithm so if it was one for example it applied once if it was two what it would do is it would hash it and then it would run the algorithm again with the hash and this one would do it eight times and what you get back is let's let's run this hash so you'd get something back like this and the first two characters right here this 2b thing is a type of algorithm that's being used for the hashing so I think this is B, which is the hash sync one, but we'll be looking at the two algorithms soon. Then this um, right here is the cost or the um, number of salt rounds. So that's the number of times you've applied the algorithm. And then the first like 22 characters or so of this is the salt. And the salt is basically um, a random piece of data that they generated here. And then they put that together with our um, plain text input and then use that to, and then hash that. So basically a random piece of data, which is a salt right here is also added. And then the salt, which is the first two characters of this and the plain text input gets smushed together. And then um, like the hashing algorithm is run. And I don't know the mathematical detail about how this works, but it is a one way function. And the remaining characters from this after the first 22 characters from here is the actual hash itself. So that's the, um, the salt the random salt and the plain text input smushed together into the hashing algorithm. And the important thing is um, you can't basically um, get back the original input from this, but what you can do is you can test an original input with this to see if they match. And so hashing is a one-way algorithm and that's the most important part of this. And this is why it's safe to store our passwords like this, because the only way to get our original password back is through trial and error. So the first thing you want to do is install bcrypt and what you want to do is just open the uh, glitch terminal in a new page and um, what we're going to be doing is installing bcrypt and you can see that it's not installed right here and the package name for bcrypt is just bcrypt so you just want to do npm install bcrypt like this and again in the next two videos or so we're going to be looking at two different ways to create hashes and then to check passwords against them. So Right now, in this one, all they're doing is installing bcrypt. And in server.js, what you also want to do is after um, these two, after these require statements, you want to just require bcrypt as bcrypt. So you'll just say let bcrypt equals require. And remember, the package name is just bcrypt like this. And by the way, once this is finished installing, you want to make sure you run the refresh command to restart our app to make sure that. Um, bcrypt has been applied and if we look at package.json now we should see that bcrypt has been installed so in this challenge all you have to do is install bcrypt and require it and um, what you can do then is just click share and then live app and just copy the live app link and then submit it here and what you'll see is that the tests have passed and we've installed bcrypt and in the next challenges we'll be looking at actually hashing and comparing passwords